in this video, I'm going to show you how to export a uh, pixel art graphic from Pixel App and bring it into uh, Unity. So you can see right here that uh, mine is maybe a little bit different than yours in that I set up my canvas at 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Yours is probably 32 by 32. Um, if you want to uh, change the canvas size in Pixel App, you can do that with this button right here. Um, if you want to, for example, create a custom background, you would uncheck maintain aspect ratio and then set your width to 640, height by 480. Um, I'm just doing a character and I want it to be slightly more detailed than an 8 bit. So this is more like a 16 bit. Uh, so I've got 64 by 64. All right, now, once you're done with your drawing uh, and you can see right here, uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. If you look right here, this is what, um, this is what the, the character is going to look like sort of an idle animation. I can adjust the frame rate right here, so I can make it go really fast, I can make it go really slow. Um, eight is sort of a good way to go. You can adjust this in Unity as well. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're going to go to export, and you're going to export it as a PNG file. Make sure that your scale is set to 1x, all right? We don't wanna export it you know, larger than it needs to be. And I prefer mine in uh, sort of one row, so I'm gonna increase my columns and so, um, I've got two frames, so I've got two columns. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Now, it's really important. Don't call this new Piscal app. Give it a name that makes sense. I named this guy Bubba, so I'm going to name it Bubba. I'm going to save it to my desktop as a portable network graphic. I'm going to hit save. All right now, in Unity, to get this guy in, I'm going to go to my sprites folder. I'm going to go to import new asset. I'm going to navigate to my asset, here's bubba.png, I'm going to click import. Now, here are the settings that you need to, uh, to make on a pixel graphic in this game. We're going to set our pixels per unit from 100 to 1. We're going to set our uh, pivot. Um, really, it doesn't necessarily matter at this point. Um, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Um, we're going to keep our filter mode at point. And then our compression, we're going to set to none. We don't want to compress it. We're going to click apply. The next thing that we'll have to do is click on our sprite mode. We want to change it from single to multiple because it's a sprite sheet, not a single sprite. And then we're going to go to our sprite editor, click apply. And then I'm going to slice this and I'm going to slice it. I could do automatically with this, but I'm going to go by cell count. And so I have two columns and I have one row. I'll click slice. Now you can see boom and boom, I've got my um, animation uh, set. So I'll click apply. And so now if I were to take these two objects right here, these two frames, drag them into my hierarchy, it's going to prompt me to save this as an animation file. In my assets folder, I've got an animation folder. I'm going to name this Bubba. And I'll click save. And I will, um, I'm going to call it bubble one because I already have one made in my game. So bubble underscore one, save. And so now you can see this character in the middle is my animation. So if I wanted to make this, you know, part of my game, I'd have to maybe add a box glider or a rigid body and add the sprites in order to set up the player the way that we did previously. Hopefully that helps.